Hi everyone, welcome to An Academy Neat English. I'm your biology educator, Ambika Sharma, and I'm here in front of you with a very amazing strategy video. You know that when it comes to strategy video, my videos are quite realistic. And this video is for those who are struggling with the syllabus completion, those who think every day that today I'm going to study, yeah, from tomorrow I'm going to study, but they are not able to, and those who are confused that from where they need to study, online, offline, or those who are not clear about their routine. So all the questions that bother you today that will be answered so make sure you watch this video till the end and do not forget to subscribe our channel so here you people can clearly see what is mentioned here 225 days and trust me trust me in reality you guys are just having 225 days only right i'll show you see you know that i always come up with these type of calculations you can simply see here we have 13 days of september Right, we literally have 13 days of September. Now our time, right, our time is like I'm, I can say that now just time is just running. Right, 13 days of September we have, 31 days of October, overall till 30th of April, we just have 20, uh, uh, 225 days. And when it comes to this one month, it is just for the revision. This is a time period where we cannot consider that we have to do some extra topic, extra chapter, or we have to uh, finish our syllabus. Not at all. Guys, we just have 195 days. And you might have seen my last video. I told you clearly that how many chapters do we have? We have 79 chapters. We literally have 79 chapters. You guys can see 79 chapters, 195 days, not sufficient for us not sufficient for us so now it's a time when we have to use our each and every day very wisely i'm not here to demotivate you i'm not here to tell you that you are not able to do you know that every month i come up with such video just to motivate you guys just to tell you guys that still you can if you are distracted please forget about it still you can if you are not feeling confident you are feeling underconfident it's trust me you can still do this you can still crack it but one thing that we have to do is we have to follow a proper strategy so when it comes to the 225 days where I'm clearly saying 30 days are for the revision only and you know that I always keep 15th of February as the last day for the syllabus completion rest one month is for the revision but if you have started late if you have started late so you need you need these six months minimum these six months for the syllabus completion only now what we have to do what should be our approach so this is the thing that I have noticed multiple times see guys first of all choose one if you are going offline, right? Trust me on that. If you are going offline, you are getting the quality content there. But the problem is that you are digressed, right? You are not going there regularly. You are missing the classes. Then you are thinking that, okay, I'll watch online. Then you are just wasting your time. You're not going to do anything. If you are studying online and then you are thinking, nahi yaar, nahi, I, I just want to go offline, offline is better, online is not. So first of all, just get out of these things. This is something that I have really, really, I have observed it. Trust me, I have observed it. Those who go offline, they think, okay, we'll not go regularly, we'll not attend the classes regularly, we'll just watch the online lecture. Those who attend the classes online, what they think, are yaar, it's better to go offline or they think are yaar, today i'm not in the mood i'll not i will not watch this lecture i'll watch it tomorrow and what what are you going to do because of that one thing backlogs if you will keep juggling trust me you will have backlogs you'll end up in having backlogs and i'm sure if you're watching this video you have backlogs am i right now this is a thing that you have to accept, be realistic. First of all, before preparing for any of the competitive exam, you need to know what sort of person you are. Lazy, focused, or you are somebody who can just study for 10 days properly, then again, not able to study. Be realistic because that will help you to decide a strategy, to decide a timetable for you, right? Now, what you have to do, see, listen to me, you have to decide your minimum score. Right, you have the bullet points here. You have to decide your minimum score. When I say minimum score, I always, I never mention maximum because maximum, you know, it is 720 marks. You want to get it, you can. You can, you just give it a try. But when I say minimum score, like minimum score that you need to qualify this exam for the MBBS seat. If for you, it is 550, prepare accordingly. If for you, it is 650, prepare accordingly. If 700, prepare accordingly. That's what you have to do. You have to decide your minimum score because when you are clear 
clear with your minimum score, then you will realize that, okay, if I'm studying biology, I have to score 350 marks in biology. If I'm studying physics, I have to get 150 marks in physics. In chemistry, I have to get 380 marks if I want to qualify my paper, right? So obviously, if that is going to be the case, then of course here, what would we'll do... Uh, uh, so this is something that you are going to get, if I'm not wrong. Yes, this is something that you are going to get, yes or no, right? So this is something that you have to decide, that you have to. You have to decide your minimum score. For me, if it is 680, I know I'll, I'll be able to get 350 in biology. My physics is not that good. I'll approach for 150. And if my chemistry is good, I'll score 180 here, right? And you know that, you know that. That's not something which is very easy to do, right? So I have to decide this thing. After deciding this thing, I have to decide, I have to clarify this thing that which subjects are not working that well for me, right? Whether you have a weak subject or you have a weak chapter or you have a weak topic, that is what you need to figure out, guys, right? If you have a weak subject, they say, I'm clear, my, this subject is weak. Okay, I know the subject is weak. Only one thing can save me, that is the proper planning. I'll focus on the most important chapters, most important topics, most repeated PYQs, that should be my strength, number one. If my chapter is weak, and if that chapter is very important, then what should you do? You need to switch the things. Like, let's suppose, if you're studying from a particular teacher, and if you think, you know, that's not working for me, try to watch some other lecture. If it is helping you, then go for it. Otherwise, otherwise, just pick up the most important topics from that chapter, then. Same, it's for the topics as well. So basically, one thing is minimum score. Then I really need to know whether my subject is weak or not. If all the three subjects are weak, then obviously you need to struggle a lot. If you think, man, my subjects are not weak, my problem is my distraction, then we will figure out the things accordingly. So now, whatever syllabus you have completed, whatever chapters, whatever number of chapters you have done, right, whatsoever it is, even if it is a topic, write it down on a paper. On a paper, give the title physics, chemistry, biology, write it on a paper, write it on a paper and see how many chapters you have completed out of that, whether there is any important chapter or not. Or even if this number is zero, then there is nothing to worry about. Just don't get panic attacks. Just listen to me carefully. So I cannot believe that if you are a dropper, you don't even know a single chapter. It's difficult for me to believe that. So what you have to do, write physics, chemistry, biology, write the number of chapters completed. Right, this should be your first category, number of chapters which are completed. Then, number of chapters that you know, right, but not so clear, but not so clear. Then, number of chapters, number and name of chapters as well, number and name both, that, that are like you are at zero, where you are at zero. Same for the physics, same for the chemistry, same for the biology. Why? Because when you will do such practice, you'll get to know about your syllabus, you'll get to know that, okay, here I'm weak, but here I'm not, right? So you will have an idea that if your minimum score is 680, then you might be at 200 marks, at 300 marks. That is something that you will be able to see. Obviously, obviously, if you're a dropper, you know which chapters are important, which chapters are not that important. And if you don't know, you can watch that list on this particular channel. You can watch my video. I have the video for physics, chemistry and biology. You guys can watch that. Okay, so this is what we have. This is the first thing. So once you are done with it, once you are done with this list of the chapters where you have mentioned the chapter that you have completed, then see, are they the important one or not? So what so chapters are, uh, whatever chapters are very important, those who are still pending then decide that how many months or how many days you need to complete that chapter that's what you have to do right so if this should be your approach if you are going for the self-study now if you are if you are going offline or you are going online then in that case I believe your classes will be there for minimum six hours isn't it or uh, if you are going all, uh, for online six hours offline if classes are for six hours then obviously you are going to take eight hours overall, traveling, coming there, resting, this and that, right? Here in online, six hours will be for the uh, classes, seven hour, one general hour is for break time, right? So here, including these two hours, you also need extra hours. So obviously you have to devote your time accordingly. So this is something that you have to understand, right? This is the first thing that you need to clarify in your mind. Now, once you are done with it, once you are done with it, then what should be your ideal approach? Guys, see, 
इफ यू आर डूइंग सेल्फ स्टडी यू कैन फॉलो आर यूट्यूब चैनल और लाइक वेर एवर यू फील कंफर्टेबल स्टार्ट रीडिंग योर चैप्टर मेक योर नोट स्टार्ट एम सी क्यू प्रैक्टिस एंड द रिविजन इफ यू थिंक आई एम गोइंग टू से समथिंग डिफरेंट हेयर नो यू हैव टू डू दिस थिंग एंड यू हैव टू फॉलो दिस प्रॉपरली सिंसियरली फॉर योर मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर्स द चैप्टर्स विच आर वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट द चैप्टर्स विच आर वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर फिजिक्स एंड केमिस्ट्री यू हैव टू फॉलो दिस एंड इन द केस ऑफ बायोलॉजी फॉर एवरी चैप्टर यू हैव टू फॉलो दिस बिकॉज वी हैव टू मेक श्योर वी आर गेटिंग एट लीस्ट थ्री फिफ्टी मार्क्स इन द बायोलॉजी एट लीस्ट थ्री फिफ्टी मार्क्स एंड इफ यू रीड you want to score good and if you are too good in the biology don't think that you will complete physics and chemistry first then you will start biology no take all the three subjects together and give biology time daily every day study biology i am not saying study it for 3 hours 4 hours and i am not saying because i am a biology teacher it's very simple it's a theoretical subject if you want to retain the information for a longer period of time you have to revise it every day so if you will be consistent in biology your one subject will be done and dusted because when it comes to the biology one thing is for sure that out of these 90 questions at least 87 are directly going to be from the ncert there is no risk nothing at all so why to lose these marks why to lose these marks we have to make sure we have to make sure that we are not losing these 87 questions are you getting my point so biology is something that you have to study every day biology is something that you have to revise every day right you can have different different approach for the biology you can directly go for the pyqs you can revise your notes you can go for the uh, pyqs it is as per the strength of your chapter right but when it comes to the physics and chemistry if there is any chapter which is the most important and if it is still pending do not go for the short Uh, do not go for two hours or three hours ka one shot go for the detailed one shot make the notes practice the mcqs go for the revision if you think ma'am it is going to take time it's good to devote time on such important chapters right you are in the month of september till december if you are going to devote that much time for your chapters that is still okay that is still okay so make sure till december you complete your most important chapters your most required chapter of physics and chemistry but biology may we are not going to take risk we have to revise everything we have to study it every day that's what you have to do that's what you have to do and after every 15 days there should be the active record after in 15 days whatever you have completed even if it is a complete chapter or even if it is not after 15 days start mcq practice don't start with the notes start the mcq practice of that chapter that's it that will be the best way to revise trust me i'll give you one example like uh, the chapter respiration in plants when you will learn it it will take time but once you are done with this let's suppose you have given 5 hours to that chapter but when it comes to the revision if you have done it well you have to just give 20 minutes to the revision that is how that is how this better understanding of a chapter help you out so that's why i'm saying when it comes to physics and chemistry right go for the detail one shot complete your main chapters by the december month and then in the month of january and february keep it for the revision keep it for other chapters so divide your time equally now i'll give you a rough time table here see see guys let's suppose this is a routine as per me 11 to 6 am you have to fix your sleeping time you have to fix the time when you are waking up right once you are done with your syllabus then do whatever whatever suits you but at this point of time it is very important so this rough idea i'm giving you let's suppose you are waking up at a 6 6 to 7 bathing exercise whatever you want to do washroom and all whatever stuff it is 7 to 10 am revision plus breakfast right revision plus breakfast this is the time that you can give for revision as well as for breakfast 10 to 11 am whatever you have studied now you can go for the mcq practice of that you can give yourself half an hour ka break in that break try to avoid the mobile phone just take a walk do something else talk to your parents family whatsoever come give you uh, provides you the comfort go for that then 12 to 2 again you can study 2 to 3 again lunch plus break one hour break then again one hour mcq practice you can shuffle it if you want to devote more time here you can if you want to devote more time here you can if you want to decrease the time here you can then 4 to 5 let's suppose again break then 5 to 11 can be for your classes like here in this time table i have given you 6 hours for the classes right and even after that 5 hours for the revision right because right now you are just completing your syllabus if you think that you are going to study for 12 to 12 hours a day 14 14 hours a day right now it is not going to help you out because then you will be just right you will be just confused you will not be able to maintain that routine for a longer period of time so at this point of time it is good if you are sleeping for 6 hours 7 hours right but it should not be more than 8 hours if you can keep it 7 hours that will be very good rest you have to study okay rest you, and 
if you are if you have decided these are the chapters i'm going to complete go accordingly go accordingly students if you are doing the self study in online classes also please try to make sure you don't get backlogs if you have backlogs forget about that just go join the classes live continue it and then once you are done with the syllabus and your batch then start the other chapter or when your teachers are on leave then utilize that time so first of all decide write the number of chapters then you will have the idea these number of chapters are pending and i need that number of days for that chapter so whatsoever suits you online offline go as per that but don't be like if you are going offline don't be like i'll see online and then you are doing nothing don't do this to yourself because you will end up in wasting your time so the one very important thing here is the routine if you don't have routine if today you are studying for 10 hours tomorrow you are studying for just 2 hours 3 hours that is not going to help you i have given you 5 hours self study with breaks with proper breaks right with in between also i have included the breaks so 5 hours plus 6 hours classes right so it is 11 hours overall it is 11 hours but if you think that 6 hours classes 12 hours self study not possible at this point of time because if you will do it after a month you'll be saturated you don't you'll not feel like studying so if you have the mind your mind is juggling here and there just ask yourself one question that right now if i'll keep thinking if i'll keep wasting my time then i will be one month back right one, one month behind right i'll be one month behind if i'm going to waste my two days two days for thinking all that stuff i'll be two months behind if you will keep giving yourself this motivation ki no one day if i'm just wasting my one day i'm i'll be i'll not be able to cope up it for another one month trust me it is going to work like wonders right you have to wake up every day at fixed time doesn't matter it is saturday doesn't matter that it is sunday you have to fix a routine and without discipline we are not able to achieve anything if there is any other distraction social media you know friends family whatsoever it is remember one thing if you have the family problem family problems if they you have the family problem at this point of time trust me family problems are going to be there with you till your last breath right that is mandatory so start dealing with that but in a good way in a good way not able to you know uh, not able to cope up talk to somebody but you have to vent it out you have to liberate it so do include the exercise in your routine do include the rest time in your routine your sleep should be proper and your meals should be good you have to eat well so that's what you have to plan guys so that's why i have made the strategy so out of that 225 days we just have 190 days trust me where we can complete these 79 chapters or even if it is 70 for you so decide your minimum start wisely and you know that we are always there for you this is our channel the complete an academy team is there for all of you you want to join my uh, batch you can see this here you can go to any video uh, section right you can go yeah, to our link how come uh -huh. you guys are having 251 that's right so you people can just see this here and then you can be the part of our batch right so most important thing is decide decide now that you just have few months left and i have to give my best that is it this is what you have to do okay so whatever other concerns you have just let me know in the chat section so all the best guys just keep studying keep rocking trust me just decide once just decide once and go for it stick to it stick to it for at least for 10 days whatever you have decided that should be realistic don't be unrealistic be realistic if you think that you can study for 2 hours Uh, right now you are studying for 2 hours if in your timetable you will make the slot for 4 hours no you are not going to manage you think in that way ki i theek hai i am studying for 2 hours i'll push myself to 2.5 i'll push myself to 3 slowly 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 you will raise that bar it is like that okay so all the best take care thank you so much guys and whatever doubts you have do let me know in the chat section keep studying all the best